Siya binga lela ubinga lela babu do hotel babu esi zo babu chaplile. Siya sebenza na mtlanje si se net bank house building si se studio number one si se dark room. Our physical address it is 30 Albert Street, Deben, 4001. Thank you. Good morning viewers at home. Today is a new day, a new month. They call it a spring day. Uh, welcome back to hotel. I welcome everybody, even view, YouTube viewers. We're still welcoming people. Thank you very much. Well, today we'll be discussing clinical symptoms, but before we go there, I want us to reason from comparison. There are two things. Uh, yes. And this group <laughs> Can you just reason, reason from comparison uh, between these two things? Uh, let's talk about easy uh, couple. Probably because Umhlabalengan uh, is very charismatic when it comes to Kalabash. Sure. Comes to easy group. I went to Umhlabalengan and uh, I paid 10,000 for easy group, 20,000, 20, all those uh, kind of, <coughs> of money that you paid. Even people in the city, they, uh, they travel to Umhlabalengan. Exactly. Yeah. Mm. But the problem is, I like those couple, they're so effective in terms of sales. They sell very well, they sell very well, but they're not that much effective when it comes to the effective in terms of modus operandi. The reason why you purchased it, because you're more like purchasing something that is selling, sure. not something that it's going to help you otherwise. But let's talk about the horn, upon the horn that we use for a bucket. A bucket is a bucket of money. It, oh, yes. when, when we talk about the horn, we talk about the horn that is so effective in terms of wealth emancipation. Mm. If you serious about making money, we urge you to get that bucket. That bucket, because that horn, it's capable to fill up that bucket up to the brim, as long as you are willing to work. Mm. And then you turn around a profit, it, it will fill up that, that bucket, because we're talking about the turn around uh, profit. It could be any form of business, anything that you do, anything that you touch, it must attract so much money. But you have to use that horn. Okay, let's go to that horn. How does it function or prepare? That horn, when you make that horn, once you start to, uh, to use it, you must have two, one, two horns. The one you must keep it by the river bank. Okay. And the one you must keep it inside the bucket. Mm. But that horn, you pay for it. The legal you can pay, because when he introduce you to that horn, you, you can pay roughly around 150000 that it requires a ship. Right. And the other one, it can go up to 300,000 because it requires different things. But it's all about that horn. You don't keep both horns inside the bucket. The one that must be by the river bank and the one that must be inside the bucket at all times. But when it comes to Calabash, Calabash, you always keep it at home. Either it's working or not, you still have to keep it at home and then send the complaints only. When you say whether it's working or not, what do you mean? Whether it's helping you or not helping you, you still have to keep it so that it will count it. How many uh, how many color patches have you got? Okay. Yes, because these things uh, cannot be returned. People, they said, oh, Babu Togotela, if it's a group is not working, can I return it? That is big no. It is big no. You cannot return it because the reason why you cannot, number one, you have combined it with your ancestors. We have slaughtered a chicken here, red or what, and then you spilled blood or, or, or bile in young. And then you've been an incident, and then you make rituals to accept this group as one of your uh, child now. When you take it back to the sender, to the owner, what do, what, what we mean by that? You even bringing your ancestors to work for that person now. That is why we advise people not to take it back, destroy it, but never take it back. Because when you take it back, meaning that whatever deposited in, 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 inside there, your ancestors, your grandmothers, your mother, your father, they are all going because you order them to come and stay in, in there and help you. But when we take it back, we are not slaughtering any chicken now to ask them to come out. We just send it back to the manufacturer, if, if there is a manufacturer, or to a Nyanga or a Sangoma that prepares that with your ancestors. You people have to be careful. That is why you notice that most people who once step to the powers of Isikubo that them poor after sending that is a back. Yeah. Because whatever belongs to you, it's already operating for that particular man. Babu Dogodan has said it. Let me carry on drinking my tea here. Yeah, it's tough out there. <laughs> Enjoy the tea, Babu <laughs> It's an early morning. Uh, now, <clears throat> let's talk about the cornerstones that are collected at the cemetery. 
not in the graveyard. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> not in the area where there is a graveyard. Yeah, no. Exactly. No, no. In the yes, 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 Can yes, we talk yes. about those stones, my daughter? When you're talking about cornerstones, four cornerstones, particularly, we don't just pick up any stones or pick any stones wherever you see. No, we have to go to the cemetery and identify certain graves. First, you have to be in a cemetery and now select certain graves of certain people of race or color and take stones from them because there are certain people that are known to be very disciplined. Mm. You know those people. There are certain people who are known to be disciplined, even on earth, that's disciplined, which means if you are tapping to, the, to their powers, that is why we are using their, <clears throat> their stones. When you are using cornerstone, it's whereby you are competing with someone who's, who appeared to be a giant. Like you got a, a Shisanyama or a Buchari or a Spaza or a Kawash. And then these Somalians, they come across and do the same replica just across the road. Mm. It's just that they're not in your yard, but they're just across you, 100 meters away from you. Competing for the same bias. That is why you're using cornerstone. That is whereby you're using cornerstone. We don't kill them. The stone will destroy them, will make them scatter in all four directions. The stone, the stone is not for uh, uh, to be used for little purposes. It won't work, but it's only made to disperse people. Okay, Babu don't tell us that. No, it's as uh, simple as that. Eh? <laughs> now about what you are saying, uh, someone must find red meat. Uh, AOC, when eh? Yes, 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 yes. For an early parole. What do early you prison parole. It is important. Early prison parole. Early prison Not parole. Not any parole. Can we parole from Early <laughs> prison parole. Yes. Someone is in... Yeah, yeah. You must get a barbecue meat. Uh, right yeah, meat. Sure, barbecue meat. Yes. And then we have to get that. We have to... We must get your name in full. Thereafter, we need to do a ritual. When you do that ritual... And you too, there is a number that you have to write on your left hand. There is a number that you have to write on your left hand. Keep that number for seven days. Even that you are bathing, do not wash it. Okay. That alone, it will activate your warrant of liberation. You can never be executed in prison unless your warrant of liberation has been signed by the minister. Number one, the minister must sign it because there are so many people who are long overdue. I, I let me correct the spelling. There are so many people who are long overdue for the parole. They've but done their time. Granted. They've done all the programs. It's never granted. It is just lying over there. The minister is always busy. It's particular to sign yours. Mm. Particular to, and this is so painful. This is so painful because you only find out that person is supposed to serve so much time. And it is even doubling up the score now. But is doing is behaving in prison. That is why we are saying that if you want to be acquitted, if you want to be paroled, not to come and commit another crime. Bring your parents, bring your people to me. Don't call me, I'm not your friend. Just bring your people and then I'll talk to them. I'll tell them how we're going to do this ritual. So that you, you'll be taken out from there. But when they come, they must bring Anything that you are wearing currently, because we are not sending anything in prison. We are taking things out from prison. Sure. That I'm not too sure whether it makes sense to someone who's serving a lifetime in prison, already served 15 years. And people who were arrested with them, they're already out 12 years ago. They only stayed 12 years, 11 years, 6 months, and they're out. And he's still serving his time, and there's no like that uh, he will be discharged anytime soon. I want anything that you wear underneath. And then I want certain uh, kind of meat. I'll tell your parents when they get here what kind of meat are we talking about and what kind of money is involved. Mm. And then there is this code that you have to write on your left hand. Thereafter, for seven days, you will abstain from eating anything with blood. As long as it has blood, you cannot afford to eat it. For next seven days, once we start this ritual, mm. they have to be thrown out of prison. That is uh, good news for our inmates. I'm sure they are watching from wherever they are. Yeah, they have to watch because yeah. I'm only their father. <laughs> <laughs> they, they, now, they now have cell phones inside there. But, uh, no, 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 prison orders, they've got cell phones. I never see any prisoner with cell phone in South Africa. It is illegal. It is illegal. It is illegal. Okay. Only prison orders carry cell phones. Oh, yes. Yes, yes. it is illegal. <laughs> this is on record. 
Thank you very much, Mabdi yes. Wote. Mabdi Wote, in any work environment or a competitive space, you are saying umuti is always needed. What do you mean by this? <laughs> <laughs> umuti, it is undermined, grossly undermined. Sure. But go to these people from Far East. Believe you me. If I said Far East, I mean Chinese, sure. Bangras, Indians, Pakistanis, wherever they are, they will pray. But before they start to use their mood. But they don't forget about their prayer points and prayer times. Mm. But not their mood. Their mood is always within them. Sure. Their mood is always within them. Believe you me, you most likely of these uh, Far East people, they always got a mark here. That mark in the forehead, it shows that they'll never surrender to use muti. They'll always use muti. No that is what, muti. That is muti. People, sure. they undermine that. For the fact yeah. that you, you see these people from Far East with red ribbons, different colors in, in their wrist, it shows that wherever they are, they'll never surrender muti. Which means we as born again uh, child of God tend to un uh, uh, understand that oh, because I'm a qualified attorney or lawyer or accountant, I'll find a job. And God will bless me the job. God has blessed you already to be academia. That's enough. He has blessed you to, for you to be educated. That's enough. Don't use God as a rep. We'll find a job for you. God He's is not too, your boy. No, no, God is too busy for that. There are people who are much better than you, but they are still not educated the way you are. But we know that you've been sleeping around with girls without marriage. That was a sex alone. It offended God so much, but God still acquired you to have a degree. Mm. And then don't push God to give you a job. And that is why I'm saying, in each and every space, please start to use muti. You'll see the differences and merits of using it. But don't use muti to kill people unless they ask to be killed. If they ask to be killed, hit them hard. <laughs> but who will ask for that kind of punishment? People, they always persecute death. Mm. Yeah, I'm sorry about that. They always persecute death. They always instigate the pillars of death. Mm. Yes. And then I'm telling you that even if you are doing something, you are preparing for a marriage. If you don't use things like sugar, sugar is muti. Yes. To keep your organs good, tight and everything dry. We talk about black stick lemons, the beetle. As a, a, a as a man of God, you're a pastor, you preach a lot, but your, your penis is not preaching. Mm. Your belly is growing. You need to, to get anything there to lose your weight. You cannot pray to lose weight. You use muti exactly. for that. You cannot pray for your eyesight to be clear. You use glasses with muti. Mm. That glasses that you specs that you wear, there is muti that is placed, applied over there. That, uh, that muti lasts two years. After two years, you have to get another muti, even though that you're a child of God. That is muti. That is muti. We are not talking muti in an evil way. We are saying, yes, use muti for your only benefit, not to harm the next person, sure. unless the person plead to be harmed. Exactly. Yeah. Bob the Hotel, let us go straight to Ajagoraja. But I want to talk about the seven days prayer to the spirit of mighty Ajagoraja. How do we pray <laughs> to the mighty Ajagoraja? Uh, what you just asked it is so powerful to me I need to play this this is Ajagoraja I don't even know the artist this is Ajagoraja sure. I want you to to come up with me and tell me that in front of me here, I've got a bunch of money. This is bunch of money. Today, I was asking my assistant, I'm not mentioning his name. I asked him, what is the date today and what time is it? He said, it's 22 8, 1st of September. I said, how much have you got now since you've been paid yesterday? Have you noticed that your money has been debited by more than 65% of it. And the mm. company's debit orders are still chow eating your money, eating yes. your money, till you reserve with 12 to 13%. Mm. This is the first. And most people who are doing, I'm not talking about people who are working. No, no, that's okay. I'm talking about people who are doing business. They're supposed to have so much money, not in bank. This money not, is not in my bank account. It's petty it, cash. It, it is, 
Fiat cash. This is I Fiat cash. Tw- only 50 rands, eh? No, no, no. There's even 10 rands, 20 rand, uh, 200 rand, and a lot of 100 rands. Quite a lot. Sure. And this is Fiat money. You as a business person, particularly on the first, you don't have this already. You are about to pay rent. You are struggling to put the ends meet. I'm not talking about your car. You just reversed the installment. You know that? And the bank will chase you. Yes, we already reversed it. You don't have this. That is why I invite you to summon the most powerful spirit of mighty Ajagoraja. For next seven days, we are acquiring people who are serious. I want you to hold your card, your bank card, the one that you are used for business, your check, your platinum, your private wealth, your private client. Hold it tight. At 12 o'clock, lit up four candles in between those candles to the side, to the side, in, in, in the middle, put a glass of water, hold this card, and then play the song of Mighty Ajagoraja. We're going to send it to you. It will be on YouTube. We just have to go there. Ajagoraja song. Boom, it will appear. Then you play that song if you cannot able to do this. We have to summon the spirit of Ajagoraja 21 times. Ajagoraja, Ajagoraja. Because Ajagoraja is, is a different system of belief. You don't close your hands. You open as a beggar. You are begging him to deliver something to you. You don't raise your hand as if you are surrendering. You are not surrendering. You are begging for Ajakuraja to deliver something that is potential, particularly for your business. I'm talking to business people only now. Because those people, business people, they are the ones that will pay your salary. And stop undermining the fact that we have to cater for business people. I want you to put your hands like this at 12 o'clock from today up to 7. Never eat meat, pork, fish, cake between the legs of your wife for next seven days. Mm. I will minister to you at 12 o'clock. We will pray with you. We're going to invoke the most powerful spirit of my dad, Jukata, so that your, your business will start to change the dynamics. The way it looks, it has to change. We are on the ninth month now. This month is an only month of the year whereby even horses, they start to deliver. Uh, you, you'll be surprised. Anyone who's been pregnant uh, by this January, to, this month, is about to deliver. Sure. Any problem you un- encounter this year, early this year, it's about to be delivered. Because people don't understand that even if I meet uh, Mr. Uh, Mkiz as my friend, as long as we started this day and there's an expiring date, just now we'll be enemies. Mm. And those people who are so-called your friends, they are about to turn up to be your enemies. That is why you have to summon the spirit. You are not listening. You have to summon the spirit because it is the only spirit that is catering for people who are Africans in Africa. We are tired of worshipping spirit of, our, of the enemies of our ancestors. Those people, they once enslaved us. Today we are worshipping their God. Summon the spirit of mighty Ajagoraja. It is going to change something. We are going to give you a full video about the song so that you can able to download it and play it. Something's going to change. Mighty spirit of Ajagoraj. Thank you. Thanks, my doctor. My doctor, you said something about friends turning against you. Now, I'm tempted to ask you a question about friends. Mm-hmm. Uh, I've noticed that friends don't actually like you. They like you when you are struggling and suffering. But once your credit scoring improves, once you get a degree, they don't some some don't even come to your graduation. <laughs> Have you noticed that? No, no, not some. Why? They don't come. They only li- only, only your schoolmates. Sure. Only people that you are studying with. No, no, they'll never come. Especially your neighbors. They'll never come. They but will some never. say a friend in need is a friend in need. You need this person, but they don't come. Even on your mother's funeral, they come on the last day. Yes, yes, yes. yes. That is you why are... your girlfriend don't come when you're graduating, because you're becoming Ish. a threat. Your girlfriend don't come. Yes, yes. Because she's busy. You did not request an Uber for her. What is this thing about success? Success is an enemy of your friends. Mm. Once you become prosperous, because you don't understand how these things germinate, when you put a seed and the sand or the soil feels comfortable to bury that seed, but that seed, it costs energy and effort to break between the 
particles of soil till it comes out, but the sand is not hip about that. It's not. It cracks. It cracks. Literally cracks. Yeah, ne. That, yeah. that is how we germinate out of poverty. Your our friends are like sand and soil of us. And they don't understand that before the seed come out of the sand, it starts cracking inside the sand. It starts cracking. It also feels the pain. Feels a lot of the pain. The way to success is not easy. No, 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 no. That is why I'm saying that your friends are not your friends really. Because most of the addresses, you don't know that when police look for you, they look for your friends. They don't look for your parents. They ask, who is his friends here? Then police will start to investigate your friends. But journalists, when they want to get bad news about you, they don't interview your parents, they interview your friends. Hmm. And they but, leak everything. And they release everything. They, they call it spill the beans. Yeah. When your enemy is looking for you, they look for your friends. And then just start to walk away from these people that you so-called friends. Because we adore these people. We prefer these people comparing to our wives. Someone don't even waste time to stay with his wife or children because of the presence of friends. No, 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 no. Start to adore your family. Start to adore your wife. Even your wife is not educated or working, start to appreciate her. Because you don't understand why your wife is not working. There is something that you are pathetic. It's just that you, you are too childish. You are boyish while you are turning grip. The reason why your wife is not working is because of God. God wanted you to have a wife who is not working. Because, because of your attitude, you can never tolerate anyone who is working. And exactly. God subjected you to have someone who is not working. Mm. And you are busy pushing wife to put emails so that she can find a job. Babu Dawadela has said it. That's my daughter. Now, back to our main topic, Babu Dawadela. Clinical symptoms uh, on your clients, they come here. What do you mean, clinic? Clinical symptoms. No, cleaning. Clinical, clinical. Oh, I thought maybe taking cleaning symptoms. <laughs> 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 you don't do cleaning, yeah. <laughs> you find someone who is size 32 coming to you uh, with a stomach as big as someone who's wearing size 40. Yeah, the guy is so tiny. What do you do as Inyanga to those people? I'm, I'm, I'm just making an example for clinical symptoms. Not cleaning symptoms. Clinical, clinical symptoms. Have we heard what he said? <laughs> he was pushing for cleaning all the time. <laughs> what are you cleaning? No. <laughs> <laughs> you South Africans are like that. You know, I, I'm from that country. <laughs> I'm not from here. Anyway. Okay. Let's correct the spelling. We as Izinyanga, we are missing the point. Sure. We treat Western doctors as if they were, uh, they were enemy number one. Sure. They are not enemy number one. They are our comrades in the field of practice. Sure. But with different approach and modality. Yes. Number one, we have to understand that. We are not enemies. We are not creating force. We are all subjected to help the client. But we as, as a younger, we came to fail to understand that. We had a challenge 2008 to 2010 when I was an advisor in the Department Council of Traditional Health Practitioners. Uh, you were doing standard six that time, I think. Mm. Uh, I insisted that that we as practitioners, there are basic things that we need to know. Like, <clears throat> we, we had an issue with Sangomas. And we even relayed them to do at least basic uh, home base uh, causes so that they'll understand certain uh, uh, things in terms of uh, he helping a patient. You, as a Sangoma, you received a new in, in, in ten. We call it Itwasa in in yes. in yeah. You receive a new in ten. Then in ten is shaking, shaking, but he's not coughing. Mm. He vomits or she vomits, sure. losing weight. But always vibrating. Those are early signs of AFB symptoms of TB. But he, as as a Sangoma, you'll never know which kind of TB this is. Mm. It could be MDR, it could be XDR, it mm. could be TB queroquantiferon. You don't know because you don't have access to tests. Once you're able to understand, to study the symptoms around, relay a patient to Dr. Zulu. Uh, say, please take this patient to Dr. Zulu. 
tell the uh, ask Dr. Zulu to assess this patient before the patient comes to me. And Dr. Zulu, what Dr. Zulu do? We raise the temperature. Temperature is forty two. Anaroxia is present. Mm. What do you mean anaroxia? The patient does not eat. Wastage is present. That shows that there is TB around. Sure. Patient is sweating, but she's not coughing. She's not coughing. That alone, Dr. Zulu will assess the patient, let the patient resume TB class. After two weeks, the patient will be sent back to you as an intern. And thereafter, because the problem about MDR and other forms of TB, we've got MDR, AFB, or which is called acid bacteria. We also got XDR. Once we talk MDR, XDR, currently there is no Sangoma or Inyanga. Even Babi Taudel, we don't have help for those people. They require uh, high care. Western doctors. Yes, Western doctors, but high care, we call it high care. Mm. Thereafter, we as Inyanga, when we assess a patient, the patient will be coming to you with white hands. Patient is not coughing, is eating well, but the hands are white and are very cold. Like, and white eyes are white. Like this lack of blood. Yes. And then when you when you shake his hand, it's so cold. Mm. The patient does not talk like freely. The motor of talking is slowly. There is something wrong with FBC. Number one, relay the patient to Dr. Mfokengi. Dr. Mfokengi, please assess this patient for me and refer back to my, my client. Mfokengi, number one, is going to do the FBC, full blood check, UNE, urea and electrolyte to check the kidneys whether they're, they're mm. okay. Thereafter, once the patient has resumed, because normally it is HB, hemoglobin, it's too thin, it's too weak. ESR, erythrocyte uh, segmentation rate, is too high, above 120. Thereafter, relay a patient for clinical uh, 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 assessment and the patient will be brought back to, to us as Isangom. Those things, we are not saying that we cannot treat, but we are dealing with symptoms. Once sure. we understand symptoms, it will be much easier. Like now, you find someone else is, is got what to call skin rash or is this why? Before we administer this, ask uh, Dr. Uh, Kanyele. Kanyele, just check the allergies, particularly the allergies to this particular patient and refer the patient back. And then the patient will come with IEG, immunoglobin, ES, more than uh, 5,000. You know, okay, you got you got this, the allergies are too high. Yes, my, my allergies are too high. Then give the patient Utica Dioga and the patient will be fine. And we need to work with Western doctors. That alone, it will make the, the, pre, uh, uh, the head of a... Uh, Department of Health in South Africa, start to understand that we are not the scapegoat or people who just lost the signal. We ended up becoming in younger, even though that we are in younger, but we, 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 we should help each other to understand the symptoms. Symptoms alone, they're very, very important because sometimes we receive someone who comes to you with infertility, infertility problem. You only find that person likes to eat a barbecue meat most of the times, mm. but what he uses for barbecue it is charcoal. Charcoal, it is based on fuel, fossil fuel. Fossil fuel, it is not edible. That is why when you eat anything prepared out of uh, fossil fuel, fossil fuel, when it enters inside, it damages your sperm as a man. We have to know all those things. We as a Zinyanga, we have to come closer. And those Westerners, now they start to understand us. Even some part of the uh, Department of Health, they start to want to work with is younger because we need to educate these youngers who just come into the fall so they will understand that to be a younger we are not competing or we are not creating enemies with western doctors we are all dealing with one subject of which is called a client a client must be served in all levels or standard it must be served Babu daughter says the younger but please study the clinical uh, symptoms and refer and the patient will be referred back to us thank you thank you Babu uh, that was Babu Dawodela our university of life one good thing about this university is that you don't write exams <laughs> <laughs> I don't know if we'll be getting <laughs> distinctions or how much we'll be paying for this course thanks Babu Dawodela thank you very much thank, thank you, you. Much, we have come much. to the end of our shows they must catch us again next time thank you beautiful <laughs>